now in society. We have heard some people may say. Being kind is a weakness. The people who become kind to others are weak. People may say like that. So today. From this program we are going to find. That how to be kind. Without being weak. So first of all we need to know. That kindness itself is not a weakness. Kindness is a virtue it is a great. Quality that you can have in your mind. But people consider the people who become kind to others. People who are very compassionate to others are weak. But that is not the reality. So how can you be kind without being weak? So it reminds me a wonderful discourse. In Supreme Buddha's teachings in that this course it says. If you can maintain your patience. When you are powerful than the other person. If you can maintain your inner peace when someone complains you or someone hurts you even though you are more powerful than that person. That is the greatest patient that you can have in your life. So, being patient, being silent, doesn't define that you are weak. So, how to be kind and how to be patient without being weak. So you should not go to the arena of negativeness. It means you should not be patient out of fear. And you should not go to the arena of aggressiveness. That means you should not be aggressive to others instead you can be assertive. You should not be negative. And you should not be aggressive. Instead you can be assertive so what do you mean by assertiveness? Assertiveness means. Being kind and maintaining your inner peace. Without being aggressive and still you can be confident. If you can be confident as well as if you can be kind to others. That is what you call the assertiveness. So. When you be kind to other person. That does not mean that you are weak. So what you have to do when you become kind. You have to be wise. Also so the kindness mixed with wisdom is the best kindness. You can be kind if those people. If those evil people or toxic people comes to you. And start hurting you again and again. You have to take yourself back. You can stay away from those people. You should not fall into the same trap. Again and again instead you can be away from them. And that is what you call the assertiveness. So. In your life you should be kind as well as wise. When you become kind and as well as wise. You become assertive. That is what the real kindness is so don't let anyone to control your inner peace. Don't let anyone to change your emotions. And make you sad instead you should be assertive. You should maintain your inner peace and be confident and be patient and be kind to them but never ever be angry and hurt others.